Hey guys, what's up? I am Dinero05, and today this is my official review of GameKit.com. What is GameKit.com? Well, it's the place where you play your games and you earn points, and with these points you can actually buy stuff like Amazon gift cards, Steam gift cards, basically for free. Uh, did I hear that right? Free? Oh, goody! Free stuff by paying with points by playing games. So, here's how it works, guys. The website that you, like I said, you play games and then you start wrecking up points. So that way, when you buy, when you use your points to buy stuff like League of Legends skins and Steam gift cards. Soon we'll at the end of this at the end of this video we'll see if this is actually real or fake. So sit down and let's begin. So I actually talked with the moderator by ticket and asked a few questions about how this whole thing works. So let's break this down to you first. So let's the first thing you do is guys you have to have to make an account and then and that's where you start gathering up some points by playing games. So, let's get started. So, the first thing you see here, once you log into your account, you have some list of games that you can do. And there are some offers that they want you to do. So, it's based on your wanted to do. So, I would recommend playing games. Playing games helps you win points easy and faster. And of course, if you want to complete the offer wall, well, you have to use your real info, otherwise, they won't give you points for that. Nope. So, um, here's a question I asked one of the mods, the, the, the ticket. So, I asked this person, if a person racks up all the points on one game, does the person should abandon the game completely? So basically, when I asked this question, I, let's just say I already got all my points and I completed the quest. Should I abandon the, the game completely? Well, this is what the moderator uh, wrote. If a person completes the quest, he can or she can continue playing for your pleasure. So if you actually like the game very much, well, you don't have to abandon the game. You can just continue playing with your heart's desires. So, yeah, you don't have to leave the game completely. Continue playing the game if you like. Or otherwise, it's up to you guys. You can just move on to the next game and start racking up points. So, um, let's talk about racking up points. When you rack up points, your points start to build up. Not just points, but also your level. Level, level is based on your account that it XP once you quest. Uh, when you start the quest here the first time, what you have to do here, and there's a little pop up will show that the quest you have to currently do. So let's just say right now I'm working on duelist. I have to reach level 20 on any faction. Fraction it is a yeah, typo there. In that game you actually go for fraction. Uh, faction. And so once you do guys, you have to match the level before you even send a screenshot to so, what you do is, once you achieve that level, you have to take the screenshot and then paste it, then send the screenshot to them and they'll review it. If your um, screenshot matches the level, boom, ching, you get points. However, you have to match the name of your account before you send the screenshot, otherwise they won't accept it. Let's just say, for example, I go by, let's say my username is Daniel Boone. You have to type in that account name that matches the in-game. Otherwise, they won't accept the screenshot. That's, that's basically how, how this works, guys. So, you have to match the name, you have to match the level, and then once they find the screenshot more accurate, you get the point. So, that's basically what you do. You just start a quest, play one of the games here, and then do 
good quest to ooh, rack up points. That's the main thing about it. So, the next thing I asked the moderators about um, how often the game, their website updates so people can try to play a different game start making more points. So here's what the question is. How often a new game will appear in order to start collecting more points by completing quests? So this moderator right wrote to me back and says, We try to update the site greatly within about three months. So in three months, the website gets updated for game selections for you to try out. So keep that in mind. So next, we're gonna talk about redeeming your points. This is where you go. You actually go here to repeat your points. And I got a little notification. Yeah. Basically, when you log in, you get five points logging in daily. Yeah. Okay. This is a section called a giveaway. You have a chance to win one of the selections here. Let's say uh, I want to win a uh, random Steam card value, which is worth 216 points. Once you buy a ticket, you have to wait. If you're the winner, then boom! Congratulations! You just won yourself a Steam card worth of something. Same thing for weapon skins, like we see for Counter Strike Global Offensive. Or the weapons here, Overwatch, Game of the Year. Ooh. All you fans out there. And of course, people who are a fan of League of Legends, there's some points you can actually win. Skins, uh, champions, or whatever. Players on no battleground game. Also try win that too. They have a list of selections where you can actually try and win something at a cheap honor's price. So that's that's how it works, guys. If you get lucky, congratulations and somewhat. Alright, the next section we would like to go to is rewards. Rewards place where you actually finally spend your points or oh, hard-earned points on this glorious list of rewards you can actually get. I'll explain further soon, so let's talk about more about the uh, selection. So, and of course, here this is where I want. I want to. I want to get myself a golden list because I love League of Legends game so much. And then you like. Uh, more like a quest thing that you want to save up points to buy this skin, so it's like a little reminder. But I already got most of my points, but I don't feel like buying this right now. They got some list of selections that, we, that you want to buy. Of course, Amazon gift cards, um, Ultra Scrolls 5 Skyrim, um, game Batman Arkham City Game of the Year. Oh, and for you guys out there who love this game, Pocket League. Basically, I have some most of the stuff that you can buy, so that in mind. Okay, so the next question I asked about the moderators is about the referrals. I plan on adding a referral at the end of uh, the video. I'll put the link down in the description if you guys want to uh, refer by me. Go ahead and click the link. This is that. So, this am I allowed to post my referral link to my YouTube video and what they check out my review? And the moderator wrote back to me and says, Yes, you can post your referral link to YouTube. There was such a precise before with other English is kind of a little bit awkward, but yeah. Basically, people actually post their reviews and they actually post their links in the low referrals. So, let me explain about the referrals. Let me just go here. Like, if you refer to your friends, tell them about this website, all you have to do is give them the link and they'll be referred to you and of course that your name will be showing up here. In order to get the points, they have to make their first order, their first purchase from the rewards section before you get the uh, points. I don't have any points, but that's okay. I, I don't crave these so that whole referral thing is about. However, guys, the advice that you cannot make multiple accounts just to get yourself referred by another account made by you because they have a little system they can detect 
win because that's considered cheating and at a disadvantage. Same thing when people use VPN or IP address changer. They have a built-in system that can get people banned. Yep. Get banned for that. They don't do it manually. It was automa automatic from their built-in system that tracks down people who uses uh, things. And that's how they end up getting banned constantly. So guys, be careful what you do. Log in from where you log in from. You cannot log in from other places because it's the same case. Probably use different IP address or VPN. So be very careful what you use, guys. You don't want your account, your hard earned everything. Or everything is like gone. So uh, there are other ways you can actually get more get points, like go to the multiple quest area, you can take quizzes, uh, rate photos, offer walls, like, oh, offers, you know, yeah. invite your friends, and of course, to watch trailers, polls, and for people who play Counter-Strike Global Offensive, actually put the link your name and then you start racking up points. So, the more you play the game, the more points that you'll earn automatically. That's how it works. As long as you have the name on your Steam when you play this game. So, alright, so the next thing is there's called Other, where you can actually uh, check out the forum. Calls, calls of course the game list. They got so many games listed on their website. And of course the new section here as well. Talk about it's about hiring moderator recruiting. And basically some sort of activities that will go on to the website. Okay. And now Let's talk about ordering stuff. So let's see. I asked this question of moderated this based on ordering rewards. What's the real reason of entering our real info? Good question. Is it to prevent bots and to ensure that we are actual humans? Well, this is what they wrote back. They wrote back says we try to ensure the trustworthy service so the site is based on everything real. For sure, we do our best to get rid of bots. Automated boss that in different info that it's incorrect, it's not legit, and stuff like that. Guys, let me ask you something. Let me tell you guys something. When you put in your real info, they're not going to keep correct or anything. They're not going to keep spam or anything. I tried it out before and I didn't get any spam whatsoever. So, um, that's okay. But they don't, they're not going to ask you anything way too personal. Like, your driver's ID or anything like that. No, they're not asking for that. However, once you order something, by the time your order is ready, they're gonna send you a text and put in your phone number of your mobile. So, once they send you a text, they'll give you the code that your order is ready. You put in the code from the, the battle.net or the edges with the skin or champions or yeah, Steam or anything. They're all gonna send it to you via mobile, so it's okay. No spam whatsoever. So that's basically it, guys. That's what the whole thing of gameplay is about. You earn points, you buy rewards, you go home happy. Well, you are technically home doing all this, right? Oh, and before we end, let's talk about further about ordering stuff, guys. Sometimes ordering things from the store takes a while to reach because they sometimes have problems with the ordering system. So, so if, if it says the deadline of the game that when it's going to arrive to you, uh, expect more delay because they have problems most of the time or sometimes. So. Have some patience, and you'll probably get your item that you wanted most. 
But guys, is the website real or fake? It is 100% legit. I have gotten my skins before and I got those cheap uh, Steam games. They sent me the post via phone. They're all too real. Same thing when I got my skins. I, I actually love my Star Galaxy Israel skin. Of course, my Project E skin or P for League of Legends. They're absolutely fantastic. So yes, guys, it's totally legit. You can totally trust him. And of course, um, we go hold down here just a second. Um, we go all the way down here. This is where you post in your reviews. Reviews of how what do you think about the website? Is it good or is it bad? It's all listed here, and basically, it's what people say or talk about the game. But yeah. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope this this review helps up. Sorry if I'm pausing too much or explaining something bad, but well, not whatever. So guys, I hope this helps. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube page. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Normally, I do game streams, but I also want to do reviews of what I see and what I want to talk about. So. I also have a link in the description below about referral. If you want to be referred by me, please go ahead and do it. I appreciate it. And I'll probably do the same thing to yours. Alright guys, take care and I'll see you next time. I hope the review helps. Peace out and that's GameKit.com for you. Get points and go home happy. Alright, see ya.